I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play They Bleed Pixels by Spooky Squid. Um, this game is like a kind of like a 2D character action, like stylish character action game. The controls are like there's few buttons, but they're comp the they're pretty complicated. Um, so the game has a novice mode, which you might want to start on, but I mean it's a lot easier than I thought it was. The tutorial is kind of overwhelming and I think you should watch it but at the same time I was kind of intimidated a bit too much by the tutorial and then the actual first level teaches you better in my opinion but it doesn't teach you everything but you kind of you figure it out decently enough along the way so yeah <laughs> here's the story here um so yeah I initially played this quite a while ago, um, and I got an email from the developer that's a, about their new update and it being on PC and or Mac and Linux now. And um, they also added the new novice difficulty, which the game's not easy, but it's not brutal. It has it's like it's got a build your own checkpoint system that's pretty interesting, and uh, she looks so happy when that happens, like. Kind of inappropriate. But yeah, we've got some Lovecraft quotes and stuff. There's some obvious um, Lovecraftian influence here. Oops. So yeah. The first level teaches you pretty well how to do stuff with these little prompts here. So there's really just the two buttons, jump and attack. And so we can do a lot with those two commands, though. Alright, so... Jumping is pretty simple. With attacking, if you're standing still, you can kick, or you can do a high kick if you hold it. And with with um, moving and tapping, you do this sort of... First, if you hold it, you can do this... Um, wait, how does the dash attack work? All right, you got to charge it. You can do the sort of dash attack if you hold it, and it's your dash attack is charged. Otherwise, you do the sort of mashy normal attack. So let's kick that. Um, kicking knocks things in to the in like into spikes and stuff. And like I said, it has a build your own checkpoint thing. Once you get enough checkpoint points, <coughs> you just have to stand still and then you can make your own checkpoint at any time, which is really nice. So what I was talking about with the stylish action thing is that there's basically two multipliers on every like every time you attack an enemy. Let's get up here. So like when I do just basic attacks, the the times hit multiplier goes up, um, but we don't have the score multiplier. You want to do fancy stuff like you know impale people on spikes uh, to get the multiplier up. So like let's knock this guy into this. Nice. The blood effects are great too. Excellent. Can I get? Yes. So yeah. Oh, crap. So the combat's pretty satisfying once you know what you're doing. And we've had a checkpoint for a billion years. Let's just drop it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There we go. Just collect our little blood orbs here. Alright, so... The novice levels are actually, like... It's not just a difficulty mode. The levels are actually shorter and easier. So that's pretty cool. Oh crap! Okay, yeah, there is a da like a strike down attack. That you need to be pretty accurate for nice. Also, checkpoint heals you too, so checkpoints are pretty important. Uh, this game is very speedrun friendly, and it actually has its own. Oh, I love throwing them on the uh, crap um, on the on the spikes like that. Ow! 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 No. Excellent. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Well, we can certainly use a checkpoint. So yeah, the game manages to do quite a lot with its controls. Um, <coughs> there's also wall clings, and you can sl press down to slide down. Love the animations in this, too. So let's just kill these guys just for funsies. 
And kicking enemies into spikes is just very satisfying. Oh, and there's these little book thingies that you can pick up. They're like, um, they're important for score and stuff, I think. Oh, and if there's this, this blue stuff is ice. You can't slide, you can't like wall cling or wall jump off of ice. And you can't make checkpoints. And of course it's, it's all slippery and crap. Oop. And I really like how there's no checkpoint button. Like you just never really need to stand still. So they just made standing still your checkpoint button. <clears throat> like, like I said, I was initially super intimidated by the controls and I mean, they are complicated, but it really doesn't take too long to learn them either. Oh, um, I think I forgot to mention. So the game's very speedrunning friendly and it even has like leaderboards and like score for the, at the end of the level. <laughs> I, said, I think it had leaderboards. Well, we'll see at the end of the level. I'm pretty sure it did though. And there's also some extra levels that all the extra levels look pretty hard. Um, but you can play them at any time, they're not unlocked, and so that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's lots of fun little ways to kill people. Oops, ow. Ouch. Ow. And lots of fun little ways to die. I like how your blood, like, cancels out their blood. Like, you bleed white somehow, and it, like, cleans the world. Like, let me get hit here. See, it like cleans it. That's so cool. All right, let's get over here. Boop. Bye bye. Oh, and you can see your points at all time. That's the little score thingy over there. And oh, oh, duh. I didn't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Frick. All right, I should have made a checkpoint before I tried that maneuver. Ouch! 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 I, I promise I'm usually better at this game. No. There we go. I love the, the final attack that sends them flying off when you do that. Excellent. Alright. And the game pretty much forces you to be more stylish than just running up and mashing. Because if you do that, they just start to block, and you also don't get your multiplier up. You get the like the number hit. Oh crap! The hit count goes up, which is important for score. But you, know, if you really want to get your score high, you need to hit them a lot while they have a high score multiplier. So you need to be stylish in how you kill them. I'm not particularly good at stylish action games and such, but uh, it's a really cool system. Oops. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, okay, okay. Fortunately, you gain back your double jump when you accidentally impale yourself on stuff. Ooh! Icky. Um, also, there was something else I was going to mention. What was it? checkpoint here oh um, the extra levels are not unlockable but you can unlock um, you gain keys by playing the game and you can unlock um, concept art and stuff or I think it's fan art not concept art but anyway you can unlock art and I really always love that's a, I think that's a really cool uh, bonus for games oops Those bomb guys are really annoying to take care of, but they can be really useful in taking out swarms of other things. Also, I think if you're within that circle, you take damage, but if you're not, uh, then you just get knocked around a little bit. Splat. Come on, die. Also, kicking them doesn't hurt them. So you can sort of juggle them until you, you know, have a better time to kill them. I knew it. Alright. No. 
There we go. You're gonna make me fight for that one, huh? Alright. Also, it does track your friggin' gems. It tracks your deaths, but it doesn't seem to subtract your score. Ow. Uh, I should have saved my checkpoint. I could have saved up here. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. We can do it. I know it. For some reason, the game doesn't let you use the... Or at least by default, the D-pad does nothing and you have to use the joystick. Not really a... It doesn't really affect me too much, but I'd still kind of prefer if I could. Okay, this might be bad. This might be bad. Oh god, okay, okay. We're safe. Alright, we got all the pages. I'm not entirely sure what happens now that we've done that. Oh crap. Alright. Ugh. Alright, we were supposed to just do the little short hops there. This is one of those games where, you know... You hold jump to jump farther. You will not die on these kind of spikes if you run past them. So you can just kick people into them. Yay! And you really should beat up things before you knock them into spikes. Like that. Though I should have gotten more multipliers even before I did that. But I really like how the game integrates scoring into the gameplay. Um, I usually don't care about scores in these games, and I still multiplier go up. So it was pretty slow, but otherwise, we did very well. Well, could have done better with the killing, of course. Basic Borkug. I think if we got... If I were faster and I died a couple times less, we probably could have gotten an A. So we got nothing for the pages? Oh, that's another really cool feature. You can quit at a checkpoint, and you will return to the checkpoint. Um, it doesn't count for the leaderboards, of course, but it's actually a really nice feature. Oh, there's also a speedrun feature where you can do a quick restart. I really love when developers include those um, speedrunny features. Well, ticked off at this book. What happens, we're like going in dreams, are what the levels are. She's going to put on that ribbon with all the blood all over her hands. I'm just gonna bury this book while our friends are playing in the backyard. Just ignore that our hands are purple and evil. That's that's fine. Whatever. Sunsets. Yet we still have horrible nightmares. I really like the pixel art in this game too. She still looks so happy. I love the mushroomy things. This is a really cool level, like visually. And the next one, um, ow. Oh yeah, I love how it introduces you to new content, concepts too. Um, the game isn't easy, but it really starts you off fairly slow and um, <coughs> introduces you to new stuff. Oops, pretty, at a pretty decent uh, pace. Like I love that it shows you like subtly that this goes to this. There's both the symbol and the little wire sort of thing. And it happens automatically at the first time. I love when games do that. They sort of, like... Uh, <coughs> how do I want to say this? Like, it weans you in to the... Uh, crap. The, the mechanics. Similarly, we didn't really need to dash before ever. But that taught us that we can do the dash to... Uh, uh, to go over spikes and stuff. You actually get an achievement for that the first time. Ah, oh, crap. Oops. Uh oh. Yeah. Oof. No. 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 Jump. Ah. I really like how the wall climb stuff works. It's like an evolved version of, um, crap. Of, uh, <laughs> Mega Man X style stuff. Can I, frick, I should have taken that checkpoint. All right, I promise I'll do it right this time. I've done this before without issue, I swear. Aw, oh, crap, aw, oh, crap, aw, oh, crap, no! 
Okay. Don't panic. Splat. Love the blood particle effects in this game, too. It's very satisfying. Splat. All right. Bye. Well, what's down here? A lot of these optional passages that lead to the those pages, those will be those are removed in the novice levels. So it simplifies the game a lot and keeps you from doing some of the harder stuff. Um, honestly, at least at the beginning, I'm not sure if like it gets super crazy ridicu ridiculous so hard, but uh, so far I really would suggest just playing the norm the game normally unless you have like major crazy trouble. I guess in general I'm pretty decent at games, so maybe uh, people will disagree with how easy the game is. I'm not saying it's easy, but uh, it's manageable because of the checkpoint system, infinite respawns and stuff. So you'll probably be able to beat the game, you just will not score well. And I didn't even notice those. Um, and that's no big deal in my opinion. That's the way I think more games should go. Um, like, in shoot 'em ups I think this is an underappreciated feature, though. Like, <clears throat> the game's very forgiving, but you'll score like crap because, you know, you died and you had to, you know, credit feed or reuse checkpoints or oh, I fell for it again. Um, but yeah, but then the problem is, like, stupid people will play shoot 'em ups and then they'll just, like, credit feed and they'll be like, oh, this game is only an hour long. I can't believe people act money for deals. Because, you know, they don't understand that you haven't really properly played it. And they don't... Oh, crap. I need to trigger those bombs somehow. Uh, hmm. How do I... Maybe I was supposed to kick a bomb into there? Oh, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, I rather like that. And Velocity2x does this. Well normal velocity too but it's fairly forgiving but you need to get good to be able to get the high scores and stuff or the uh the gold medals and stuff and 10 second ninja is another example and i'm not usually one for score ah oh, crap what am i doing but uh it's a really great way to sort of add both intrinsic and extrinsic reasons to do you know to play well like, so you can credit feed, but obviously you don't feel as cool when you have to do that. Um, so that's sort of your ex intrinsic motivation. And just combos look cool and stuff. That is a good motivation in my opinion. Um, and... Uh oh And the extrinsic motivation is just, oh hey, you get the actual high score and stuff. And, you know, maybe unlocks or whatever, too. Well, aren't you little buggers annoying? Oh, come on, how did that not hit you? Alright, there we go. There we go. That should not have taken that long. Alright, so we're going to click this. I love the little rune. Aww, should have known that was coming. Why did I save there? All right. Yeah, basically I think the game does a great job of, you know, being forgiving enough for casual play and then really giving you a good reason to, you know, go back, collect all the items, get better score. Um, and I think a really important thing, um, in, in addition, instead of just, you know, having actual scores, and, you know, trying to compete for worldwide number one, because most people in the world are never ever going to do that. Oh, God. Um, ah, crap. It gives you, like, A rank, B rank, because that's a really simple offline way to be like, oh, hey, I did pretty decent because I was an A, but I want an S rank. Um, whereas with, you know, just a raw score, that doesn't mean anything to a lot of people, myself included, frankly, because you're not really sure how good that was. And if you have just online leaderboards, you're not going to be number one in the entire frickin' world because that's, you know, a really high standard. So I don't really find, you know, 
online leaderboards don't really do too much for me. But, you know, something that, that the creator says, okay, if you did this well in this level, that's, you know, an S rank. I'm all right with that. I prefer stuff like that. All right. Let's not die horribly this time. Ugh. We're off to a great start. There we go. There we are. Alright, what's up here? Just this? Give! Give! Ugh. Okay, calm down, tap tap. There we are. Just two more. Did we... Yes, we did. Now I like the evil symbol, even if it just kind of looks like an evil tuning fork. We missed a page. Oh well. More blood pages unlocks more concept art. There's some Poe quotes in here too. Oh yeah, this one. I really love the look in this um, in this stage. Also, just as to show you, I really love how the background changes when you die too. It's all gross and evil. Evil error. But yeah, this is um, this is they bleed pixels. And let's take a look at the options, or not the options. Well, we can take a look at the options, sure. You can rebind your controllers. Oh, um, a cool thing, the game has, um, you can choose which scaling option you want. You want pixel perfect. Um, but if you're some sort of weird gross person, you can do stretch to fit. You don't want to be a weird gross person, do you? So yeah, the, the best way to play the game probably is just the 720p. It's designed for 720p. Um, so that's slightly annoying, but uh, if you put it to 1080p, it you know, has borders, and I really would just recommend 720p full screen and letting your, uh, hopefully your monitor upscales it decently. Like, it looks fine in my opinion, um, but you can also have it pixel perfect to 1080p or, you know, whatever your native display is. Um, and you can turn off the paper texture and parallax and crap if you want to. I don't want to. And you can change your controls and stuff. Um, and the extras menu, there's these little bonus levels that are pretty cool. They seem pretty hard. Let's view some high scores, too. See, so yeah, it has online global high scores. Um, we're not going to be good enough to be on any of those. Oh, wait, let me see something here. Uh, in theory, I love the friends score um, option, but in reality, my friends never play any of the cool high score games that I do, so makes me sad. So yeah, we can unlock artwork. Pretty sure it's all like fan art. Like there's a bunch of different um, artists credited in here. Um, and yeah, you can watch the videos too. But yeah, this is They Bleed Pixels. It is pretty cool. You can go check it out on, it's on Steam. And I do recommend it playing it with a controller. I think the game actually has a little... You should probably play this with controller warning. I love when developers do that. I have not tried to play it on keyboard. I mean, the controls aren't complicated, but you'd... I don't know. The, it, it would feel weird. I would just recommend a controller and leave it at that. 